What's up? This is David, and today I want to talk to you about your beliefs, and specifically your limiting beliefs, and where they actually come from. So I want to take a look at beliefs from a very, very deep level. Like I like to call it like a first order principles of a belief. And in the past, I used to take these um, you know, psychology programs, these personal development programs from people like Tony Robbins or like um, people who taught NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And they were amazing programs, right? They completely changed my life. And one of the things that they, they really teach are like to have or like to take a limiting belief and to replace these limiting beliefs that you have in your lives with these more empowering beliefs. So what they teach is kind of like you're taking a hard drive, you're taking this hard drive, and you're taking a key. And with this key, you're scratching up the hard drive. You're scratching it up, you're scratching it up until the hard drive can no longer be played, right? Until these, no, these limiting beliefs can no longer have any power on you. And so this is um, essentially what they're teaching you to do with these certain limiting beliefs. And what a limiting belief is, um, I'll give you some examples. A limiting belief can be, I'm, I'm too young, right? Maybe you're offering like a coaching service and then you just have this limiting belief in the back of your mind saying, hey, I'm too young for this. You can't do this, David. You're way too young. You're, you're 20 years old. I'm not 20 right now, but I wish I was, but uh, you're too young for this, you know? And what they, have, what they have you do is to take this limiting belief and then to replace it with the more empowering ones, such as uh, youth is power. You know, I, I might be young, but I have time on my side. Something like that, right? To that effect. So these are what are known as limiting beliefs. And so again, they have you like scratch up this old hard drive, this old limiting belief, and they replace that on top of that with a new, more empowering one. And But then the thing is, I wanted to get deeper into these beliefs. Right? I wanted to like, really dissect and get to the deepest, bottomest part of this belief. And so that led me to the question, like, what if we go back to the place and time where we picked up this belief, like that first instance, this first memory of this limiting belief? And actually, Freud found this out. And, Freud said, like, if we can go back to that first instance of that memory or that belief, and we can go back to that instance, then we, we have the power to actually heal that wound or that belief. So to give you an example, like, say your limiting belief was like, hey, I'm too young. Well, really think about where that belief came from. And it usually comes from when we were young, when we were little kids. And if we can actually go back to that time, instead of like, you know, keying up the hard drive, well, what if there's no wound in the first place? So it's pretty much healing the wound. It's like being preventative rather than um, curing the effect of it, right? You're really working on the root cause. So instead of like putting like 50 bandages on the wound, we're actually healing the wound um, from happening in the first place, right? And so this is what I found out, and this is tremendously effective. And I remember I, I told you like the story of like my success barriers, like how like I would have certain amounts of success, but then I would always have like a ceiling. I would hit a ceiling and then I would drop back down again. And then I would start taking all the action again and hustling and grinding. And then I would hit another ceiling. And it's like almost at the exact same spot, by the way. And then I would get complacent. And then I would sabotage everything again. Like this kept happening over and over and over again. It was an oscillation, right? And I realized it wasn't my doing. It wasn't like, you know, my hustling or my grinding. I was taking tons of action. Okay, so it wasn't that part, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't from the doing paradigm. It was from the being paradigm. The deep inner psychological um, belief that I had about my identity, you know? So in order for me to get past that ceiling, I had to work on my identity, meaning my deep psychological belief about myself and those subliminal blockages that I had that I picked up when I was a younger kid. Okay? And then once I worked on those, and once I was able to heal those, then I had those breakthroughs, right? So again, uh, most of success is, well, definitely a lot of success comes from taking action for sure. But um, Tony Robbins said it because he said like 80% of success is mindset and psychology. 20% is a strategy. So strategy is definitely a part of the equation, but it's a smaller part than the inner psychology. So if you master like the inner world, then outer world becomes just so much easier. And so that's what I thought, you know, like this is like the first of the principles of success is really being able to master those beliefs and the, and the inner world. And I call this deep identity level change, deep identity level transformation. And once you can transform from the inside, then it'll start to reflect in your outer world, right? So yeah, so that's um, something that I've just um, come across my, you know, my journey in learning about personal development. And I believe this is like the deepest way that a person can truly change their, their life around. And so I actually have a free training, a belief training, um, you know, that, in the link down below, if you wanna sign up for that, you can watch this completely free training. And there are many mind blowers in this one, by the way. So uh, yeah, it took me a long time to create this free training for you. So, you know, you can watch that free training down below, completely free, completely free, by the way. And it took me a long time. It took me like, I would say a month just to create that training. But I, I hope you can find a lot of great insights, a lot of value into like your own psychology by watching that video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. And if you want to, you know, follow up and join one of the coaching programs, then we go even deeper into this type of training. And it's a customized program just for you. And so we can actually dissect your psychology, see what's going on, and we can get re remove those uh, subliminal blocks that you may have so you can uh, live up to your utmost potential. So please uh, click the link down below if you want to sign up for the free training. So that's all I have for this video. If you found value out of this one, just to recap, 
limiting beliefs, uh, how we can replace these limiting beliefs is we can either use new empowering beliefs on top of these new limiting beliefs, or we can actually go back to a time where these limiting beliefs came from in the first place, to go to like the first instance of where we picked up these interesting beliefs, and then to heal it, to heal that wound, so that the subconscious blockages are no longer there. Uh, we, we can actually break through those success ceilings and have the, the best success of our entire lives. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found value out of this one. I'll see you in the next one.